What if you could publish an article today and see it on Google's first page within a week using only free tools with less than 30 minutes of your time? Now, this isn't just possible, it's repeatable. Let me show you how you can do this yourself. My name is Caleb Alku and I built a seven figure SEO agency and have helped hundreds of others start and grow their own. Today, I'm sharing my fastest ranking strategy yet. This isn't about building backlinks or social signals or waiting months for results. This is a shortcut. We're going to leverage another domain's authority and relevance to get our content to rank. At the end of this video, I'm going to share the exact AI prompts we use at my agency to make this happen. Google's current algorithm near the end of 2024 is heavily favored toward domains that it highly trusts. The algorithm also rewards articles on domains that have a lot of topical relevance. If you went and published an article about water heater replacement on webmd.com, it would not rank very well, even though webmd is of course a very trusted domain. But if you wrote an article about a specific medical term, it would likely rank very well almost immediately on webmd. So the shortcut I'm talking about requires a domain that one, Google trusts, two, has topical relevance on a lot of different topics, and three, allows anyone to easily publish content. And luckily, that domain exists. It's medium.com. Now, medium is a powerful multi-topic domain, perfect for our strategy and what we're trying to do here. Now, first, I wanna show you, look at these traffic stats for medium. Ridiculous growth from 9 million to over 30 million monthly visitors following last year's Google update. And best of all, you can create an account and publish on medium.com in just minutes. So I'm gonna break this down step by step. So step one, keyword research. We're going to use AI to generate a list of low competition, long tail keywords on topics that you can monetize. So if you're selling services and link to your own site, that's perfectly fine, Medium allows that. If you're using affiliate link, that's also fine, Medium allows that also, as long as you disclose that you're using affiliate links. I wanted to show you the very specific guidelines for Medium on what you can and can't do to monetize your content. You can read this in more detail on Medium's website if you want to. But a couple of quick suggestions that we've had success with on this strategy. The first, you could use local content to generate leads for local businesses. An article about water heater replacement in Houston, for example. You'd use soft call to actions, links to informational pages, and proper disclosure. Or you could write content about SEO for plumbers in Houston to grow your own agency. A plumber in Houston might search how to do SEO for a plumber in Houston. Very low competition, long tail keyword. Your content would be ranking for that. You could also focus on building your own community or email list and later monetize your audience with offers, paid tiers, affiliates, one-on-one -on -one coaching, or a variety of other ways to monetize an audience. Now to find the right keywords for your topic, we want long tail keywords, low competition. So here's a generalized version of the prompt we use. This is quite long, and I'm going to go ahead and make this available for free at my school community. I have a link in the description so that you can join it and grab this so you won't need to copy it all down. Because of how general that prompt is, it might be a little hard to understand. So let me show you the exact prompt that my agency used specifically to find keywords targeting SEO for plumbing. Our goal was to get new clients in the local SEO plumbing space. Again, this prompt is going to be available in my free school community. Now, if you wanna check these keywords to see if they're competitive or not, Ahrefs has a free keyword explorer tool that you can go ahead and use. You can also very simply type these suggested keywords into Google and look at the websites that are currently ranking and how strong they are. For a lot of the suggested keywords that I get from AI, when I check them, Ahrefs gives me a pop-up that looks like this. If you see that, it usually means that the competition is quite low, as is the search volume. Okay, step two, content generation. So let me start this by showing you Medium's guidelines on AI-generated content. This is as of September, 2024. Now, clearly, you should not be generating a bunch of AI dribble and posting it straight to Medium. That's not going to build value. It's not going to get anyone to click on a call to action. You need to lead with quality and value. So all that being said, our goal with this strategy is not to join their partner program. So based on these guidelines, you'd be allowed to post AI generated drivel if you didn't want to be in their partner program. But don't do that. AI generated dribble, even if it ranks, it's not likely to stay ranked for long, 
and it isn't likely to generate successful conversion. It is very easy to add the disclaimer that Medium wants to see for AI-assisted content, and that's what we'll be focusing on, AI-assisted content. So speaking of that, here's the prompt that we use to produce AI-assisted content with Claude 3.5 Sonnet. The prompt, of course, works with a variety of AI assistants, but recently I did a comparison of ChatGPT, Perplexly, Genesis, and Claude. Of course, Claude was the clear winner in that, so I'm going to suggest that you use Claude for this. Step three, human editing. AI is great for content production, but as I mentioned, it's definitely still in the assistant phase. You still should always rely on human editing to check and improve the content. AI makes a lot of mistakes with its content, so you do need to fact check it. And while you're fact checking it, you should be adding human experience, human knowledge to it, human anecdotes and then run that AI through an AI detector. Yes, AI detectors are often terrible and they don't work as well as they claim. Most of the ones that I've seen claim a 97% success rate, but they're super easy to fool. That being said, a lot of platforms are using these tools to scan content submissions and Medium might start soon and we might wanna use some of these other platforms. So you don't wanna be flagged. Future-proof it by getting a low score on the AI content detectors. Step four, publish. So publish this content to your Medium account. Insert your call to action links and post it. For a lot of long tail keywords, the highly trusted and highly relevant domain of medium.com is going to be enough to rank almost immediately. But if we wanted to pour some gasoline on that fire or maybe target some higher competition keywords, we know that Google rewards sites that have links from other trusted websites. I promised you earlier, I wouldn't need you to buy a bunch of links for this and you won't. So step five, we're going to go to additional platforms. I have a list of hundreds of websites with strong trusted domains that allow publishing content similar to media. Almost all of them are free to use. That list is also available in my free school community. I'll put a link in the description, as I said earlier. So we won't wanna publish the exact same content on these other platforms that we did on Medium, but we do want them to be related. So to get related content ideas, we're going to search for our target keyword in Google and look for the people also ask section. If there isn't a people also ask section, just add the word how or what to the target keyword. Grab one of the people also ask questions and copy the content that you've already written for Medium. You're going to give Claude this prompt and it's going to rewrite that content for the other platform, focusing on answering the related question. So it's going to be highly relevant content, but unique from what you've already published on Medium. As before, you're gonna check it with AI detector tool, you're gonna to add links to the Medium article, and you're gonna add maybe one call to action link. Maybe this article will also rank, and then you're gonna post it to that platform. For a lot of target keywords, we might wanna do three to five additional platforms beyond Medium. And again, the number we do depends on how competitive the keyword is, whether it's ranking or not. Step six, indexing. Of course, we need to get all of this content indexed. Just like a tree falling in the forest, if Google doesn't index it, it doesn't really exist. Now, I did a whole video breaking down exactly how to get content indexed in just minutes, but let me give you the highlights. First, you can source other external links to the content you want indexed. Second, you can use social signals or blog comments. And the third way is to use a paid tool like indexmenow.com. Very, very inexpensive, works really well. Okay, step seven. The last step, build EEAT. This is another opportunity to pour even more gasoline on that fire. Now, after Google had that massive attribute leak, we learned that Google does index author's name and authority. If you take the time to do this, you'll see the content in the similar topics will index and rank faster and faster in the future. Building EEAT is a long-term strategy. To get an idea for what you should do for that, to build EEAT for AI-generated content, I want you to check out this full video I did on how exactly to do it. 